Welcome back to Color and Cut Education. My name is Sebastian. Okay, so this is the final part of white hair coverage. And we already talked about the first two parts. The first part is the difference between natural base color. We have uh, 330, 440, 550, 6, 7, 8, and so on. So we already knew that um, if you want to cover white hair, it must be a level 6 shade and below all right level seven and above it uh, does not really cover the white hair it's kind of translucent okay so for the part two we talk about what makes brown so what makes brown is that the three component color that makes brown is the three primary color red yellow and blue so different percentage of different color like red higher percentage yellow higher percentage blue lower percentage that will be orange brown so you, if you are able to see the color then red and yellow will be more if you can't see the color blue will be more okay so that will be darker so today we are going to talk about this part three which is the final part uh, we're going to talk about how we mix up the formula so i'm going to do on three strands over here okay three yak hair Okay, so using 645, 6 is a level 6 base shade, 4, 5, 4 is a copper, 5 is red. Okay, so we're going to do on these three strands, but in a different way. So I'm just going to tell you what are the three different ways first, then later on we're going to do with the demonstration. So the first part, right, for 645 will be the first strand. I'm just going to apply 645, 6% onto the first strand of white then after that we're going to put 645 and 330 this is the dark base shade onto another white hair okay to see whether can it cover the white okay so the third strand right the third strand we're going to use a 645 and 62 we add up together to create brown inside so what we know about 645 is that it's level 6 copper red. So copper red means high percentage of red, less percentage of yellow. Okay, so now we're going to add the 62 inside will be high percentage of yellow, less percentage of blue. So what happens when these two mix together? You get brown, yes, but the brown, right, is going to be a level 4 to 5 brown. It's still considered dark. So what happened here? is that once we add up inside there is least percentage of blue and we need to darken it okay we need to darken the thing because it's going to be translucent on the white hair so we add 330 330 have what blue red and yellow right but this is very dark what makes it dark because of blue high percentage of blue you add in then this part will be dark brown so from here right once this is dark brown what happened once it's dark brown we come we still can't come to the result of copper red but we actually make the result of we cover the white hair already from here onwards it already covered the white hair with brown and it's intensive because of the base plus the brown here now after that right we need to lighten the brown over here so lighten the brown you might say oh why don't we use zero slash zero zero no it doesn't work like that zero slash zero zero it counteracts the whole entire formula and it became very diluted so what's happened here we need to add six four three now you might be disagree to what i say right now later on i will show you six four three contains what the high percentage of yellow okay and lesser percentage of red how can it be six four three right four is what four is orange so orange is what least percentage of red high percentage of yellow three is what three is gold but it's also yellow so should say that four three right high intensive yellow least amount of red so you have six four three so when you high intensive of yellow over here what happens that you can actually brighten the brown over here so from dark brown right from a level four to five dark brown i can actually bring this up to a level six brown 
okay so down here you only create what brown okay so what's next you still haven't come to a result of six four five which is from the color chart right we need to get the mixed tone okay the mixed tone which is the intensive pure pigment zero four five okay add the zero four five in you will create six four five as a result your gray hair or your white hair is covered with the brown and the color okay so now let's go to the application of the white hair okay so now we come to the coloring we're gonna squeeze up so we have six four five so by using 645, will it really become um, the color on the color chart? For this brown hair, right? If you're done on just brown hair, it will it will comes to the color that you want to see in the color chart. Okay, but if it is on white hair, no. Because why? The color chart itself, right? Actually shows you when you're done on a level six hair, not on the white hair. So from here, and we're going to apply on the white. So from here, we're going to wait about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. Okay, the next will be 645. Okay. and 330 and here is about one part okay so four to one huh? and we're going to mix for six percent and we covered the white hair okay so from here we wait 30 to 40 minutes okay so now we're going to do the last one which is the, the ratio formula so this one 645 we are going to do about four parts okay six two eh? we're going to do about six parts five six okay next because this one becomes what brown right so we need more blue so we get from three three zero so three three zero it's about two parts Then due to it becomes dark brown, we need to make it brighter. We have 643. We are going to make another three parts. Okay, so next, due to that, we brighter but we didn't get red. We're going to use this one, 045. Okay more intensive so here okay Okay, so we're gonna wait for 30 to 40 minutes and we'll see the result. Okay, so we have rinsed the hair. So we will see 645. Okay, is this 
this is 645 okay so you can see this uh kind is translucent okay you can see a bit of red okay and this is 645 so next will be 645 plus the 30 now because of the blue you have slight ashy purple inside okay you see it covers but it's like that this is the 645 so after you add the 330 it turns like that a bit ashy why is it like that because there's a high percentage of this blue inside 330 so once you touch red it will turn a bit of purple and it goes like that now this is next okay this is uh, 645 so if you look at the color chart this is similar okay so in order to get this and you see this over here there's a lot of white why because of there is no brown inside to cover and this from here you can see that they've slight red tone okay and this is 645 on the color chart as well Okay, so let's refresh. Welcome back. Uh, just now, uh, we rinsed the three strands of hair. So the three strands of hair, right, that the uh, very first strand that we see just now is that 645 and you touch with white hair, it turns red. Okay, you see a lot of red, but it's not well covered. So then we add a bit of 330 inside and what happened? It turned purple. Okay, actually purple. Why? Because of 330, there's a higher percentage of blue. So if I do not want to see the purple how, then you add more 330, add more brown, more intensive dark brown. Then basically then your so-called the hair will be well covered. Nah. As in we did on the part one. Okay, we use the base, right? 330, you can cover the, the white hair. But you cannot see the 645 anymore once you add a lot of 330 inside. Then people ask, why don't you add the 550? Yes, you can add the 550, but 550, right? it is not intensive enough to cover the white hair that you can see on the 645 so 645 is red 550 it's brown but it's warm brown it's ideal to cover the white hair for 645 but if you add too much of 550 right what happens you become brown you cannot see the 645 then if i cannot see the 645 then why at the first place i would not want to add the 330 okay now a lot of us that when we do for clients right when we add a, a sum of 330 or 440 what happens is that it can cover the white hair that is the intention of you want to do for your client you want to cover white hair so a lot of us they will add 330 440 but once you add this one right you cannot see the color okay it's very dark and your client will say hey, how come there's no color then there was then you will say that oh because of we need to add the base tone to cover gray hair now once you cover gray hair then you can't see the red color so then if you i use the 550 660 now what happens is that you cannot cover the gray hair okay in the end of the day right when you use a 550 660 and you add on 645 it must be one is to one okay then you can cover the gray hair but you still cannot see the 645 rate okay so then we will come to this um the third strand right we add a lot of 645 we add 62 we add 643 850 and we add the 045 in the end of the day you can see the color you can see the brown and you see the coverage okay yes it takes a lot of number but it links now i'm going to show you the map right now and you can see the map right here you will see uh you have 645 you have 62 you have 643 you have 50 and you have 045 so 645 and 62 we do a uh, 46 okay ratio and you will see brown okay brown what happened brown you consider of red yellow and blue okay so but then the blue it is so this amount of blue due to from 62 okay 62 is green is made of green right so you have blue and yellow okay they mix together so when you have blue and yellow that mix together right in order to see green on the color chart 
they must be more yellow than blue. So the blue percentage is very low when you 62 plus 645, right? So it will never cover gray hair because of it is at the level 6 brown. Okay, but um, there will be not much of blue inside. Then in order to increase the blue, I need to add 330. Now 330, I add how much? I add about 2, okay? 2 portion. So I add about 2 portion. So 2 portion, right, of blue, you increase the blue percentage in the brown. So what happened? It becomes dark brown. So it will still not show 645. But at that stage, right, the white is well covered. Why? Because it's dark brown. Now dark brown, right, I want to increase the, the lightness of the brown. I will add 643. Now 643 is what? 643 is made of red and yellow, which is orangey brown. Orangey brown, right, it will lighten the dark brown to a warm brown at level 6. Then from there, right, what you see? Actually, you will see a medium orangey brown. But medium orangey brown is actually 643 or, or 543. It's still not similar to the color charts of 645. Then what I'm going to do? I'm going to add 045. So for 045 to increase rate so that it will be similar with the color chart. Now from here, right, you can see that we need to add a lot of colors inside. But coming from the color chart, isn't that why we need to use like only one tube of color to just put it on the hair? No, it doesn't work like that. Now people who mix the color chart, people who mix the brand, the color brand all over the world, is that they don't make it like, oh, uh, I put it on white hair, it will turn to be 645. No, it actually put it on either a level five, level 5 hair or you do it on the virgin hair then you will become a 645 that means the 645 if i want to do on the on 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 my hair which is virgin hair then basically 645 or 745 i need to add nine percent or twelve percent then you will come to a 645 okay it, it good, works like that but for white hair it doesn't white hair what what you do not have inside is a melanin you do not have melanin inside so what you need to create melanin inside so you need to create melanin inside you need to create brown okay all asian hair that is brown because most of us are black black hair okay so once you have brown then you can create color on the hair using the color tube okay it works like that okay so i hope you liked my tips and my tricks and I hope to see you at my next feed.